Welcome to Cleaning with Chaos. Now, I said I was going to work on this, or I might work on this today, and I'm going to. Um, but first, I think what we need to do is determine what needs to be done to it. Obviously, the spine is very weak, so I, I don't really want to do a water bath on it. Uh, but here you see it is detached from the cover on, on the top side, not on the bottom. I kind of want to reattach that and maybe strengthen out this spine a little bit because it does look awfully weak. So I think uh, a cover detachment is going to be in order. Of course, I'll go over each page and uh, clean that up a little bit. Uh, but we'll get to all of that in just a moment. Uh, before I do anything to this, I think what I want to do is work on this. And what happened was I was removing the spine roll and I ended up with a really bad split going all the way down. So I'm going to disassemble it, seal up the split, and then reassemble the book. And after that, maybe I'll clean it. I don't know yet. Probably will. So uh, we're going to start off with that. Uh, let me find the center so I can get to the staples. There they are. And we'll use the staple tool that I got from Rick Morgan. Uh, and clean. I don't know if he has any of these left, but uh, it works pretty well. I meant to get another tool that he has uh, for working on the staples and making sure they're straightened, uh, but I forgot. So I'll have to get that. Next time I order from him, I'll get get that, and that's probably going to be pretty soon because he's come, he's got some other products I want to get. Uh, actually, he promised me a few things that I haven't gotten yet, and I think he just forgot that he's going to he was supposed to send them to me. But I'm not worried about it. I don't want anything for free. Uh, I'd rather pay for what I get. Of course, anything I purchase to work on comics, I can deduct from my taxes because it has to do with comic books and I make money off comic books. So, there you go. I've removed the cover. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of parchment paper and I need to order some other type. Uh, this is just basically baking sheets, uh, but they work. But I have some other things I want to do and to do that I actually need the silicone ones. So uh, that, that's a craft sheet and I'm going to see if I can get them at a craft store first that I have not too far away from me and uh, once I do that then I'll go ahead and uh, see about ordering them it, it, you know if I can't get them there then I'll order them let me uh, plug the iron in so I can heat it up and flatten this out and then I'll, I'll uh, put those together all right, my little travel iron's all nice and heated up. I really like using this thing. It just... It's a convenient size. It heats up really quickly. Wow, that is really... In yeah, it definitely needs to be... Uh sealed up. Okay, we're going to start with this small one down here and then I'll move to up 
towards the top get my mending tissue out and uh, I'm gonna have to order some more of this I'm running low at least I think I am finding the end of this isn't always easy to do Wow, it's way up there. Yeah, I found it. And that's about a one inch piece. I really need to clean my bone folder <laughs> one of these days let's see I think I'm gonna seal a little bit off the top here first and then I'll work on the rest of it just to hold it together This piece is about an inch and a half. Now I want to make sure it's in there right. Hmm, something didn't work out right. I ended up with some type of uh, something underneath it. Yeah, there's something on the tape itself. Must have been on my finger. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel that back some. Very carefully. And snip it off. Now I can go ahead and seal the rest of it, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I can go ahead and seal the rest of it now. Like the way that's coming out. I'm using my fingernail as a bone folder. Now all I need to do is reinsert it. But I think before I do that I want to flatten this out as well because it's I do still do need to remove that spine roll. So uh see if we can't do that. I might have to steam it first. Maybe not. No, oh, I think that'll do. I think that'll do.
need to straighten these out some if I can find where it went and this is where that tool that uh, that other tool would come in handy really need to get one of those looks about right should just be able to reinsert this without too much trouble if I can find the hole I don't want to make new holes obviously I want it to go in the originals I think I found them. Well, apparently that's not working. I'll have to use my normal method. Not, not lining up the way it should. Oh, there we go. That's lined up. Just about perfect. So we're going to try putting the ones in the bottom first. If I can find that staple, there it is, and then I'll put the ones in the top. Again, straighten out the the staple as best I can. And then an attempt to insert it where it goes. Yeah, by lining up that one hole, you see how easy that went in? Now we should be able to do this one too.
Yeah. All you got to do is line up one. Right back into the original holes. We'll press the staples down. And this is the other thing that that other tool that I want is good for is, is folding the staples over again. It, it'll hold them straight up and down so you can put them back. Although I'm not too bad at doing it with my fingernails. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and steam this and uh, give it a press and get that... Uh, Get that nasty spine roll out of it. And uh, then maybe we'll get to the daredevil. You know what? I can't do that daredevil. Apparently, I'm out of the pads that I use to clean comics with. So we'll have to wait on the daredevil till next week or maybe Friday. So in the meantime, let me go ahead and get this... Okay, the sad sack and the sarge is in the uh, press. Um, you know, further examination, this is really dirty. And it, it needs it needs something more than, than just the kind of cleaning I can give. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cover. And I'm going to wet clean it. I know that the spine is weak and I run the risk of having the spine split all the way down. But this is going to go in my permanent collection. I don't intend on selling it. So I'm not that concerned with that. I don't send this stuff off to CGC or CBCS. So what I'm going to do, and also the centerfold is loose, and that needs a little bit of uh, tweaking. I'm just going to remove the bottom staple for now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the cover. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, this is this staple is really tight in the paper there, but uh, yeah, we got it. Okay. And like I said, all I'm going to do right now is remove the bottom staple. So that I can go ahead and uh, take a better look at the cover and, and probably go ahead and give it a clean. I have a little dish to put that in. Set that off to the side. Yeah, see, see how this is folded up and then folded over. I I would need to. Uh, do something about that anyway. And I think part of this is under that other staple. So I'm going to go ahead and I think this is a part of it too. This might be that piece that goes right in there. Wow, look at that. I have it turned around backwards. Oh yeah, that's that's going to be good. Uh, so what I'm going to do, like I said, oh yeah, there you go. The whole thing is there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, wet clean this. Uh, despite the fact that I know the spine is weak and I might end up having to redo the whole spine. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. Put that off to the side. I'll clean that separately. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, this is going to take a day or two. So... I'm going to start this, then in about four or five hours I'll go ahead and get the uh, the other comic out of the press 
and show you where it's sitting right right then and then I'll cold press it for probably two days uh, to to get a nice to make it sure it keeps whatever I gave it so uh, see you in about five or six hours which for you will be about three or four seconds well I'm back it's about four and a half five hours later press is cooled down to uh, ambient t room temperature so I figured I'd go ahead and take it out <coughs> and show you how it's turned out <coughs> there it is get a little better focus maybe um, nice and flat Not, almost all of the uh, the spine roll is gone so I'm happy with that I'm thinking about cleaning it now but obviously today I can't clean it because I don't have the the uh, pads I have to go pick up some cotton pads so I'll pick those up tomorrow so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a sleeve and then stick it in my cold press a lot of people put them in just to stick it in a cold press. I like putting it in a sleeve first and then putting it in the cold press. That's just me. There you go. Uh, this is going to go in my collection. Uh, I don't have a copy of this. Uh, the ones I sold, uh, the sad sacks that I sold last week, one of them I had a copy of, the other one I didn't, but you know, like I said, I can't collect everything. So the sad sacks I'm going to get, I'm going to collect. Um, it's a sad sack world and sad sack and the Sarge. I think I'm, those are the two I'm going to collect on, on those titles. So let me go ahead and stick this in my uh, cold press, and I'll be all, I'll be done. Uh, make sure before you handle your comics and before you clean your comics, especially you wash your hands. Wash them hand, your hands afterwards, too. It's good for your comics. Most of all, it's good for your health. And we'll see you um, tonight on my live stream. Bye.